Hey, it's Anders from Printful. Let's look at a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to connect Amazon to Printful. We'll go for connecting the integration, adding products, and setting up shipping. To start off, you'll need an Amazon Professional Seller account and a Printful account. You can register for Amazon's Professional Seller account on this page. I'll left a link for it in the description below. Note that it might take Amazon up to two weeks to approve your account. Once that's done, head over to Printful and create your free account. You'll be relocated to the Printful dashboard. There, on the left side of the screen, choose Stores. Then select Choose Platform. A new page will open up when you'll need to find Amazon and click Connect. This opens up the integration setup page. For the next step, it's important to note that you'll need a registered trademark brand with Amazon or a GTIN exemption in order to connect with Printful. GTIN stands for Global Trading Identifier Number. It is a globally unique 14-digit number used to identify trade items, products, or services. If you don't already have a trademark brand, registering your brand for a trademark and then registering it with Amazon can be complicated and time-consuming. However, if you do want to register your brand, Amazon has resources to guide you through this process, so make sure to check those out. But if you don't have an already registered trademark, we highly recommend requesting a GTIN exemption instead. This process is easier and less time-consuming. We'll walk you through the process of integrating Amazon with Printful, whether you have a GTIN or don't yet have one. First up, let's go through the steps of connecting if you don't have a GTIN exemption. Under Step 2, check this box here where it says, I need to apply for a GTIN exemption. Type in your Amazon seller name in the text box located under it. The spelling and spacing of the name should be identical to the one you use to register on Amazon Seller Central. Now hit Continue. Next up, you need to choose the Amazon regions you want to sell in. Our integration supports global marketplaces, so choose the one region in which your marketplace was created in. For this example, I'll choose North America. Hit Authorize here, and this will redirect you to Amazon. You might be asked to log in to your seller account, so do that. I'm already logged in. And before authorizing your marketplaces, you'll need to confirm the connection with Printful via the Amazon Web Marketplace Services, or MWS for short. So check this box here, and hit Next, and Continue. You'll be redirected back to Printful, where you can see that you are now authorized to sell in North America. Now check the box of your marketplace or marketplaces to connect them with Printful, and hit Continue. Next up, Amazon requires you to submit a brand support letter to approve your GTIN exemption. We've pre-created a form for you to fill out that will automatically generate the letter. So click Fill Out Letter. Here you have to choose whether you're the owner of the brand you're registering or if you're applying in the name of a brand. So for example, I'm the owner of the brand I'm registering the exemption for, so I choose this box and press Continue. Now fill in the information required here, your full name, your Amazon seller name, and the rest of the fields. Make sure that all the information you type is precise and then press continue. Next, you need to sign a physical copy of the letter before submitting it, so you'll need to download and print it, sign the necessary fields, and scan it. Once you're done with that, you can upload it by pressing submit here. You'll be redirected back to Amazon. Here, leave the branded products option as it is. In the text box below it, enter your reason for not having a GTIN. Then check Yes here, since you have a supporting letter. The products we fulfill fall under categories like cell phones and accessories, clothing and accessories, shoes, handbags and accessories, luggage and travel accessories, backpacks, home and garden, sports, and jewelry. If you're planning to sell t-shirts exclusively, under brand name, type in your Amazon seller name, choose the clothing category, and also add your website link here. If you plan on selling in other categories as well, add them all here in this step. Once that's done, upload the supporting letter you signed here and press Submit. And now you'll need to wait for Amazon to approve your request. This might take up to a few days and once the process is done, you'll receive an email with the confirmation. Then go back to Printful Dashboard and under Stores, select your Amazon Store. Now you're ready to start adding products. If you already have GTIN exemption or registered brand with Amazon, let's look at the integration steps in this case. In the second step, click this box here. Tap in your Amazon seller name 
and press Continue. Next up, authorize your marketplace. Click Authorize next to the region you've created your store in. Now in Amazon, confirm Printful's connection, check this box, press Next, and Continue. Now you're redirected back to Printful. From this list, select your marketplace or marketplaces and press Continue to complete the integration process. And that's it! Your Amazon store is now connected and you can start adding products to your store through our Product Push Generator. Before adding any products to your store, I'll show you how to check if your Amazon Marketplace is authorized. In the Printful dashboard, under Stores, select your newly created Amazon store, navigate to the right corner of the page, and click Settings. Then in the panel located on the left side of the screen, under Settings, Stores, scroll down until you see Marketplaces, and click on it. This will open up a new window where you can see all of your authorized Amazon Marketplaces, which will be marked as active, like you see here. Don't forget to set up your billing information with Printful for your purchases to go prune. To make it easier for you, we made a video about setting up billing. You'll find a link to it below. Depending on where your customer lives, Printful may charge tax on your orders, such as sales tax in the US or VAT in the EU. You may also be liable to collect tax from your customers. We recommend you consult a tax specialist on your specific situation. Adding products. Remember that you can add products only if you have authorized at least one of Amazon's marketplaces with Printful. In the Printful dashboard, select Stores and choose your Amazon store. Next, click on Add Product. This will open up our Product Push Generator, where you can create your unique products and add them to your store. I'll add a man's t-shirt for this video. To do that, click on Man's Clothing, T-shirts, and the model you like the best. Here you can check which variants of the shirt are available for fulfillment in our US and EU locations. We don't fulfill all of our products in Europe, but they can be shipped worldwide from our other locations, so these filters do not limit your choices. For example, if your main market is in North America, you can apply this filter to see which variants would be fulfilled in our US location, or in both the USA and Europe. We'll leave the USA option here. Next, choose all the colors and sizes you want to offer this t-shirt in. You can upload your own design or create one from scratch using our text and clip art tools. We've made videos to help you unlock the full potential of our mock-up generator. The links for these videos are available in the description, so make sure to check them out. I'll choose a pre-created design from our sample images and change its size and position. Make sure to follow along the print quality information over here for best results. Once that's done, hit proceed to mock-ups. Here you can choose what type of mockups you want to appear on your store as product photos. Amazon has strict rules on product images, so you can find a link to them in the description below. All mockup images uploaded for our generator meet the requirements. Next click on Proceed to Descriptions. On this page, you can edit the product title and description. We highly suggest creating product titles as per Amazon's requirements. I'll add a link to Amazon's requirements in the description below, so you can go through them carefully. First add your brand name. For us, it's Printful Video. For the department, we'll leave unisex for this example. For the name of the product, I'll write Printful T-Shirt. Since we have multiple variations for the shirt, you can later edit the titles of each of the variants in your Amazon Seller Central. But if you're adding a product in single color and size, you can add them at the end of the product title here as well. For example, if I was adding this T-Shirt in only wide and size small, I would add wide and size small at the end of the title as well. Printful provides basic product descriptions, but it's a good idea to follow Amazon's suggestions for product descriptions for SEO purposes. There will be a link to their guidelines in the description below as well. For this example, I'll leave the original product description here. Next, proceed to pricing. Here you can decide on your profit and retail price. You can see Printful's fulfillment price for the shirt in this column and the suggested retail price next to it. When I change the profit amount, my retail price adjusts automatically. Remember that Amazon charges up to 17% in referral fees per item sold, based on the product category and retail price you set here. So you should keep this in mind when setting your profit. You can find more information about this on this page. There's also a link to it in the description below. Next, proceed to Marketplaces. In this window, you can select which marketplaces you want to publish your products in. Only activated marketplaces in store settings will be shown in this step. When you've decided where you want to add your product, click Submit to Store. Note that products might not sync right away. It might take at least an hour until they appear in your Amazon Seller Central. 
Remember that product photos might not appear on your storefront right away. You might see them in your seller central, but it can take up to 24 hours for them to be visible on your storefront. Also, if you see zero here in the stock column for the product you've just pushed through, this means the product is not yet fully synced and you'll just have to wait for the process to be complete. So be patient while your product syncs. Once your products are synced, you can now edit descriptions, add photos, and other details directly in Amazon. For example, the t-shirt I added before has variants, so now I can add colors and sizes for each of them in their product titles. The production time for all products added for our generator is automatically set to 6 days. You can see it here, but we advise not to change it. Our standard fulfillment time is 2 to 7 business days, and if you set the production time to a speed that Printful can't fulfill on time, your seller account might be penalized. Amazon punishes your account when you ship out late orders. If this happens too many times, your account can get suspended, so it's best that you don't change this variable. There are also other criteria that Amazon looks at when rating the performance of your account, like your order defect rate and cancellation rate. You can monitor this data in your Amazon Seller Central under the Performance tab by choosing Account Health. Lastly note that if you decide to add other Amazon marketplaces to your integration, the products you've already created won't automatically sync over to the new marketplace. For example, if you originally created Printful and Amazon with a North America marketplace, added products, and later on decided to also integrate with a Europe marketplace, you'll have to create these products again for them to appear on both marketplaces. And remember that for every marketplace you want to sell on Amazon with our integration, you'll need a GTIN exemption for all the product categories or a registered trademark brand. When setting up shipping, remember that the Printful and Amazon integration only supports flat rate shipping. Amazon automatically sets default shipping rates based on industry standards for each product category. We recommend using these default rates. If you want to create custom shipping templates, make sure to go through the information about Printful's flat shipping rates by visiting our shipping page. Also, Amazon will automatically send your end customer a notification with a tracking number when their order has been sent out. You can leave your address in your Amazon shipping settings, or if you want, configure your ships from location to Printful's address. To add shipping addresses in your Amazon Seller Central account, you can go to Settings, choose Shipping Settings, now select the General Shipping Settings tab and click Edit here. Now press Add a new address and you can add one or all our locations here, depending on the regions you're selling in. You can find all our addresses on our About Us page. There will be a link to it in the description. Amazon automatically uses your billing address as your return address, so it's up to you to decide if you want to use your address or Printful's address for processing returns. If you want to update your return address in your Amazon Seller Central account, go to Settings, Return Settings, or Return Address Settings, and here you can click Manage your return address. Next up, click Add new address and fill in these fields with the information required depending on the address you choose to set up. That's it! I hope you found this video useful.